This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freaking.com. I remember there was this incident in Estonia where uh, they have this annual or maybe semi annual singing festival, and all the Estonians started singing, you know, songs that were banned. Uh, and it was a Soviet sponsored event, right? Well, <laughs> the Soviets realized they were helpless to do anything about this and just went along. It was a sort of a key moment in the uh, fall of the Soviet Union. Despite plenty of fascistic moves on a, on a small scale by the feds, individuals being targeted and occasionally groups, by and large they are starting to let freedom grow reluctantly. The real $64,000 question is going to be what they do when their currency collapses. Are they going to react with more fascism or less? The Soviets reacted with less. The uh, 1919 era Germans reacted with less. Uh, maybe I should say the 1918 Germans. And that was kind of before hyperinflation. But anyway, uh, the Zimbabwe fascists reacted with more fascism and the Serbian fascists kept their fascism about where it was. Uh, during their hyperinflation in the 90s. Uh, it's hard to say what the reaction will be, but it's really not a foregone conclusion that the authorities will react by starting a war or that they will react with massive crackdowns. They've kind of already been doing the fascist thing for so long in America that the novelty has worn off and their ability to use their power is probably diminished. 1991 Belgrade could go out and start a war because it was a novelty. Americans, on the other hand, may be war-weary. Because the fact is, the country's been at war probably for longer than any other country in the existence of humanity, or at least in the existence of modern nation-states. It's only been at peace for, what, 10, 20 years of its existence? Frigging, it's like it's like the ancient Greeks, you know. The, I mean, it's an, an ancient Greece concept that you would be at war most of the time and peace was just an occasional break. Well, that's the way the U.S. has been for pretty much its entire existence. So I don't know, know that authorities have the ability to use warfare the same way it's used by other countries, countries that are normally at peace, which is most other countries. It's conceivable that things cannot get that much worse in the United States. I, I almost can't believe I'm saying that because I've always been a little bit of a you know, quasi-survivalist in the sense of th thinking things, well, you know, things can really get a lot worse. But maybe they won't. Maybe they never will. Maybe the, you know, the uh, aughts were as bad as it ever got. In my heart, I know that it is certainly possible for things to get a great deal worse. All that has to happen is the authorities use all their power. Heck, they could use their nukes for all I know. But still, the sense of optimism is growing. I didn't even mention the fact that we have more drug freedom in the United States. I'm, I'm in, well, yeah, definitely in the United States, and uh, and, and gun freedom, and and in, in New Hampshire, uh, I guess you know we're 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 possibly on the ber verge of having a lot of both, you know, in the next uh, four or five years. What I really wish would happen is for someone to make a make an objective freedom index, not one that ranks the United States in a relative sense against other countries but maybe one that ranks it and all the states individually against the past. You know, actually, maybe the Mercatus cen Center does that. I'd have to check that. Of course, it's such a recent, you know, that, that's only been operating for a few years, so it's kind of hard to get any historical view from that. And, you know, we should also be asking ourselves whether the index actually portrays the level of lived freedom that you have, as opposed to just saying whether the government's getting better or worse. Because, again, the government is not, it's not so much, it's not really a government so much as it is a faction of society, a predatory faction. It could get a great deal worse, and yet you'd still have more freedom, if the empowerment of the individual rose at a higher speed. Driving in circles around Central Keen, I hurl both insults, angry and mean, against the activists from Free Keen. 
uh, who wander around thinking as though they were free, and even though they aren't hurting me, I will hate them hatefully, urging their appearance in the penitentiary. Although that expense would be charged to me, I'm starting to feel somewhat confusedly.